Well, it's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm kind of actually shocked. I'm. It's crazy how often I am shocked at uh, different YouTube things. So um, I, I was shocked that uh, we had so much fun reacting to a leap, and I kind of thought you would get you guys would get sick of me. I, you know, insecurity, I guess. Um, but uh, I love hearing this plane, and apparently you like being here. So. Let's just keep let's keep doing it. I mean, it's weird because like I've been talking about guitar eight hours a day for twenty years, but uh, apparently like you like guitar, so it's just kind of awesome, kind of awesome. Um, Vertical Horizon, I am not super familiar with. But uh, it doesn't really matter if it's a um, Balinese song or a Javanese song or Vertical Horizon, a pop band. Doesn't matter because Elite doesn't play bad music. That's just a fact, so let's go. What? Hold on, I'm already. He was tapping on the fourth and fifth frets, and I'm already like, what the hell? I can only guess y'all I'm at this you know some things I'm not gonna lie to you until you know exactly what he's doing I think he's tapping on the strings to have more like a snare drum effect like a different sound of percussion but why is he doing it on four and five is uh, something we haven't really talked about we talked about the three main harmonics which are on the fifth fret the seventh fret and the twelfth fret which are actually all equal divisions of the string the uh, fifth fret is one fourth of the string length, the seventh fret is one third of the string length, and the twelfth fret is one half of the string length. Uh, however, there are, are other harmonics available, and there is one on the fourth fret. I don't know if you can hear it. So maybe he's actually tapping there uh, in an attempt to have both the fourth and the fifth fret um, harmonic. that he's doing makes me think I should do it more often um, is I have a tendency to take my entire hand and hit the guitar hit the strings for the sound um, but right here he's really it's so smart he's keeping his fingers curled so they're ready to play and he's taking his thumb and hitting the low six string um, for some percussion right He's doing it like over and over again. Cat wants to say hi. What are you doing? it go with his fingernail because like when you when you slide your finger across the front of the guitar it doesn't go how he just did it right where'd it go what the hell <sighs> he's not using one finger I can't sh until I try to do it myself, I'm not sure if he's using two fingers. He's He might be using all three. I call this the turtle hand. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, your turtle fingers. Because uh, if you look at the old 
uh, Teenage, Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they only had a thumb and two opposable uh, fingers. But anyways, I, he might be using all three. So he's kind of pushing. Maybe he's pushing with the middle and then transferring to the first and then the thumb. And, it, and because you have three different digits, chances are the fingernails, uh, your fingers sound a little different, which gives that variety in the... ton of um, sliding into his notes. Uh, how do you define that? It's almost think of it as, a, as a singer. If you were to like go right below your pitch and go up, um, um, um. but the, the trick to it is he's not really starting. He's not really linking two pitches together. He's just straight up sliding into a pitch. Uh, and he's doing a lot on all of these thirds. So like, let's say these thirds, right? It's. Like my starting note is really, I mean, I know where my fingers are when I'm playing, but you don't really hear the start. You hear the slide and the end. And it gives uh, a little humanity, a little humanness to the sound. And it also um, can prevent your music from sounding... I don't know how to say this. If you pluck every note, you get a... You, you hear the sound of the plucking, the pick and the fingers. And it's to me, I hear... If you just pick all the notes... And so the slides kind of undo that. Can I uh, give a stupid example? I don't know. So you're playing a... Oh, I'm not going to have a good example. Hear the... That sound is in front of every note. So you use dynamics. Right? Or slide it. It, it, I don't know the word, the word, the right word, word to use from it. It keeps your music from being metronomic in the approach of the sound, the attack of the sound. Those are all really good examples of what I was just saying. Uh, those are him doing those, those, I assume they're thirds. I'm not sure how his guitar is tuned. They sound like thirds. Um, right here. Right. Right, right. He's, he's, he just did it three times. He slid up, slid up, and pulled off. Check it out. Three. I couldn't do it at the right time.
Man said his back, my back itches, bruh. I got itchy back. Dude, <laughs> I've had that so many times, not my back. I've had that so many times where I've been performing and shit happens to you that like just doesn't, like you could play a song 300 times, and when I say 300, I'm not lying. You could play a song 300 times over like let's say three months, you play it a hundred times, you play it three times a day, every day for three months, and then you go to perform it live and all of a sudden you're playing and your nose itches. And you're like, first of all, your nose itching distracts you. Second, you're like, you're thinking, well, maybe it'll go away, but then your nose keeps itching and you're like, do I just finish the piece? And this is where you start thinking stupid stuff. You start thinking ahead in the piece, you go, do I have a long note coming up where I can hold the note with my left hand and then reach over and scratch my nose and go back to playing? So, it's back itched. Dude, that stuff happens all the time, all the time. You need to cough, you need to sneeze, you need to use the bathroom, uh, your head itches, nose itches, you, you get something stuck in your throat. You're like, how do I even have anything stuck in my throat? I'm just sitting up here on stage playing something, uh, but things happen. Um, anyways, I'm just talking. We, we, we already talked about the video. I will say that that behind the nut string bend, uh, well, I'm not reaching for the acoustic, you know how the behind the nut thing, you reach behind the nut, you grab it, up, and you bend it and it goes up and down. Um, even that is, a, in my opinion, a decoration. Which, uh, decorations are good. And, and the way to think of it, you can call them decorations, you can also call, call them ornaments, ornamentation. Um, they're just ways to liven up music. You could okay. Another thing, another way you could think of ornaments are non, non-essential. Ooh, I don't think. Ugh. Let's see here. Three notes. If that's my melody, how can I ornament them? Um. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, something stupid like that, but, um... It's still essentially... You can slide to it. You can pull off from a higher note. Right? Those are just different ways of ornamenting your note. You can go from below to above and back down. missed, but you get it. Right. And those are just different ways of decorating the... Does that make sense to... You have an, you have an essential element. Oh, I know the best way. Take a sentence. Uh, someone, uh, my jazz teacher in high school said this. That you could think of your essential elements as the most basic parts of a sentence. So... What's a really short sentence where every note, uh, every word makes sense? I went to the store. I went to the store, who went? I, I went. I, where'd I go? I went to where? The store. All those words are really essentially important to the sentence. Just like a melody, a main melody is, has essential elements. Now we can add adjectives and adverbs to the sentence, go like, I quickly went to the dirty store. Now, what are the words we added? Quickly and dirty. Now, what does the sentence quickly and dirty mean? Not very much, not very much. So your ornaments are these adjectives and adverbs that you use to decorate your primary um, nouns and objects in a sentence. Ah, 1300 videos, that's never come up. Cat's not impressed. All right, I'm out of here. Y'all take care. I'll see you so soon.